Hi friends, welcome back to Developer Sada. So this will be a series of videos on Angular CRUD application. I will start with you know step by step procedure. First, I will explain how a template driven form can be created. Then I will explain how a module driven form or reactive forms can be created. Then I will explain how you can capture the data from any one of the forms then you know how you can validate it then how you can uh, what do you call it send to uh, back end you know how you can consume an API or how you can post this data to server then how you can get the data from the server then how you can edit or update delete entire uh, operations inside a CRUD application like create read update delete will be discussed in detail so without wasting much time let's jump into the coding so this is the application just i have built nothing is here it's a simple boilerplate code so just let me run welcome to create application i hope this is already running i believe no it's not running let me jump into crud app ng serve iphone wo so with this command i think we can run our application fine i think uh, okay perfect oh super so our application is up and running now without wasting much time let us directly jump into our bullet points the first point how a template driven form can be created so what and all the steps at present i don't have anything except the basic angular application now the first step is adding the forms module in our app module.ts step one would be adding the forms module let me go to app module over here in import section i am adding forms module okay it's giving me an error and it's giving a intelligent support you know from where this module has to be imported let me click perfect you can see here i have imported my forms module that's all i need to do in app module.ts let's go to app.component.html over here i am going to create a form element i don't need this action attribute because we are not posting to any file right you know and uh, uh, let me have a simple label f name first name then an input field i don't need any id here then a button add user and i would like to trigger an event when you click on this the event handler name is event event sorry add user is event name and event handler name is on click so in angular we use like this pair of parentheses will be wrapped surround that event name get this go to app.component.ts over here create the add event okay now one point to be remember is if we are discussing about template driven form all the configurations related to uh, forms module are related to uh, what do you call the uh, forms will be configured at html file only we are not going to do anything in ts file what does mean means i need to create a local reference reference variable like you know user form equal to ng form means you are creating 
you are as you are creating an ng form and you are assigning that to user form perfect now when you click on this button when you are triggering add user event you need to pass this local reference perfect now go to html file go to ht sorry ts file of the app component dot ts over here since you are sending something from the markup you need to receive right right user form and this will be type of ng form perfect now let's log this user form when i click on this particular button i should get the ng form perfect everything is set what did i did i have imported a forms module in app module.es then in my markup i have given a reference variable and i have assigned uh, ng form to it that's all i did then i have triggered an event when i click on the add event uh, add user button so i am passing this now now i need to capture the value right whatever i am entering so let's go to app component.es instead of user form dot value just check you i am getting an empty object i have entered a property right i have entered a, a f name right why i didn't get very simple come to app component.html if you see this input field is not at all associated to this form what i mean of course you have kept this input field inside the form that doesn't mean that that should be part of that application that form so what i should do i should use a variable or uh, sorry attribute called ng model this is a attribute which i need to give and i should mention attribute name as well wow well, perfect so this is how we can create a template driven form i am not going to add too many properties i am not going to add too many input fields it's a straight forward explanation there are three steps one is import forms module in app module.ts to create a reference variable for the form and uh, assign it to ng form then three add your input field by by adding the uh, ng module attribute that's all you have to do the fourth is the routine when you click on the button you need to pass the reference variable of that particular form in this event okay now let me create an another form what is that module driven form for that what i am going to do let me create a new component uh, cd app 1 sorry okay it is crud app ng generate component m module driven form that's all i'm going to do okay my component is created now go to app component now comment everything use app iphone mdf let's see perfect my module driven form component is up and running fine now let me go through the steps how to create a module driven form okay in our template driven form all the configurations related to an angular form we did in markup only we haven't did anything 
in TS file. Not much we have did in TS file, but here module driven form all the configurations will be done in TS file only. What and all they how it has to be done. Let's go to app module.ts. You have already forms module imported. Along with this, you need one more module called reactive forms module. It's imported. That's all you have to import at this point of time. It's more than enough. Now let's come to module driven form. Create a variable called user form equal to new form group. Okay. You need to pass an object inside this because it will it will expect an object. Okay. This object will have the properties of uh, the input fields, which is part of your form. I mean, if you go to your uh, form, oh, you don't we haven't created a form here. Form, I don't need action attribute. Label, if name, first name, then an input field. I don't need ID here. Okay, and then a button. Add is okay. When you click this, I would like to call a function called add user. Let me create this event in this TS. Okay, if you see inside this form, you have an input field, right? So this input field name, F name, has to be declared inside this form group. Okay, now I have only one input field that is F name colon. I cannot use equals to inside object, right? You might be aware of that object's uh, syntax. New form control perfect that's all now you have created an instance of the form group your form a form configuration is ready copy this come to your marker because HTML has to be binded with the TS file right TS file uh, configurations right so what you should do okay Form group, what was that? Form group equal to user form. That's all. This user form is an instance from the TS file you have created. And what kind of form it is? It is going to be form group because it, you, are, you are grouping it here. Okay, that's how we need to configure it. Okay, now come to the TS file. Now the point here is in our template driven form we have sent this form group as an argument inside this event do we need to do the same thing in module driven forms also not required because the configuration in template driven form done at html level now in module driven form entire configuration declared in ts file only so t in ts file itself your form is available form user form is available so you don't need to exclusively pass from html to ts so that's why we don't need to pass now when you click on add user what you can do and just log this so user form we need to access value inside it so why i am getting this error you have to mention this because you are actually uh, point outing to the current instance of this particular class now when you click this oh null value you have this property because you have already declared inside here so that's why you got it but you are not able to capture the value let me try now not at all. The reason is very simple. You have an input field here, but this is not binded to this form group. How can I bind? In template driven form, we have given ng model attribute, right? 
here we have an attribute called form control name equal to if name perfect now let's perfect okay this is how you can capture the values from module driven form or reactive form whatever we say so these are all the basic steps and you know this is how we start with the template driven forms and module driven forms i have explained with only one input field so you, you should be clear and straightforward to you okay so that's all from this video i will cover the validation portion in my next video and uh, uh, thank you that's all